Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my August update to the Pan Those palettes. Pan That palette was created by Amber, and I do have her link down below. For this year, I let all of you vote on which palette you wanted to see me pan, and you voted on the Glam Light Glam Donut palette. I also decided to do the theme that Paula created, which is Better Together. Two palettes that work better together. One could be neutrals, the other colorful. One could be mattes, the other shimmer. However, you can find two palettes that work better together. For that theme, I decided to roll in my chocolate donut palette. I think these two are perfect together. This one is neutral and this one is bright and colorful. I've been working on both of these palettes since the beginning of the year, and I will have my playlist linked down below in case you would like to go and see all of my updates. And as always, I do have a slideshow at the end of this video that will show how the palettes have changed from month to month. This video is being filmed over a week ahead of time. Typically, I like to film it on the last day of the month. However, I will be out of town, so I am pre-filming this. So just know that the progress on both of these palettes is a week less than it typically would be. Like I always do, let's go ahead and get started with the Glam Light Glam Donut Palette. I'll pop pictures up on the screen. The picture on the left is what it looked like last month. The picture on the right is what it looks like currently. And let's go over the number of uses on each one of the shades. I have five uses on the shade Jelly. I have three uses on the shade So Sweet. I have zero uses on the shade Maple. I have four uses on the shade Chocolate. I have four uses on the shade Frosty. I have four uses on the shade Icing. I have three uses on the shade Sprinkles. I have two uses on the shade Grape. I have two uses on the shade Strawberry. And I have five uses on the shade Glazed. Now let's go ahead and switch the pictures. The picture on the left is what my palette looked like at the beginning of January. The picture on the right is what it looks like currently. And let's go over the total number of uses for each one of these eyeshadows. I have 32 uses on the shade Jelly. I have 38 uses on the shade So Sweet. I have 18 uses on the shade Maple. I have 70 uses on the shade Chocolate. I have 52 uses on the shade Frosty. I have 52 uses on the shade Icing. I have 28 uses on the shade Sprinkles. I have 22 uses on the shade Grape. I have 23 uses on the shade Strawberry. And I have 65 uses on the shade Glazed. As you can see, my palette doesn't look that different from last month. I didn't set any usage goals or anything like that. I just wanted to see what I reached for naturally. And honestly, I reached for my chocolate donut palette a lot more than I reached for this palette. In my look today, I am actually wearing four of these. I'm wearing all of these blues and the center shade right here. I'll go ahead and swatch them out. This is the shade Icing. This is the shade Frosty. The blue shimmer is called Sprinkles. And then the center shade is called Glazed. That is the kind of highlighter shade. I do use this sometimes in my inner corner and brow bone highlight. And then like today, I have it on this portion of my eye to kind of lighten up the very inner corner of my eye. I'm hoping you can see in the shade Glazed right here, I have hit the second ring of pan around here. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm expanding that quite a bit. It has two grams of eyeshadow. There's no way that's gonna be finished by the end of the year, but I'm still gonna keep making as much progress as I can. Let's take a look at the weights. As you can see, I have used up 0.39 grams worth of eyeshadow over this past month. That is not my worst month at all. I'm actually really pleased with that amount of progress. If I take this month's weight loss and add it to the weight loss of the palette since the beginning of the year, I have used up 3.18 grams worth of eyeshadow. Usually when I'm doing a pan that palette, by this point in the year, I do have some empty eyeshadow pans. I don't even have side pan on anything yet. And I'm not being very hard on myself. I'm just stating what has been happening. I think it's because I am panning two palettes and I do have 20 shades that I'm currently trying to work on. However, I do want to try to work towards hitting side pan in these two shades. I know I've previously set that as a goal and I haven't done it, but look how close I am. I think I wanna set this as a goal for the next month to hit side pan in spring and in the shade grape. 
I do want to encourage myself to start reaching for more of these bright, colorful eyeshadows. In about every single one of the videos I've filmed for the past month, I think they've all been neutral looks. That's a combination of trying to hit my goals on the chocolate donut palette, and I also have other palettes and projects where I have a no pan left behind, or one of them I have a 50 use goal, and so I keep trying to reach for those, and it's just easier to incorporate a lot of those in with the neutral palette because there are colors that go so well together in those. So for the month of August, I'm gonna be focusing in on bright, colorful, beautiful eye looks. Now let's switch over and start talking about the chocolate donut palette. Again, I will pop pictures up on the screen. The picture on the left is what it looked like last month. The picture on the right is what it looks like currently. And let's talk about how many times I have used each of these eyeshadows. I have six uses on the shade Sweet Filling. I have four uses on the shade Marble. I have one use on the shade White Chocolate. I have zero uses on the shade Sweet Tooth. I have seven uses on the shade Double Chocolate. I have seven uses on the shade Eclair. I have four uses on the shade Boston Cream. I have five uses on the shade Chocolicious. I have four uses on the shade Chocolate Sprinkles and I have six uses on the shade Chocolate Glazed. Now let's go ahead and switch up the pictures again. The picture on the left is what my palette looked like at the beginning of the year. The picture on the right is what it looks like currently. Let's go over the total number of uses for every one of these eyeshadows. I have 59 uses on the shade Sweet Filling. I have 27 uses on the shade Marble. I have 20 uses on the shade White Chocolate. I have 22 uses on the shade Sweet Tooth. I have 59 uses on the shade Double Chocolate. I have 59 uses on the shade Eclair. I have 27 uses on the shade Boston Cream. I have 56 uses on the shade Chocolicious. I have 31 uses on the shade Chocolate Sprinkles. And I have 48 uses on the shade Chocolate Glazed. I'm sure none of you are surprised that I still have not hit pan in this shade Eclair right here. I said I was at 59 uses and you can barely see that. I'm trying to show you some different angles so you can see that there is a little bit of a dip, but it is barely there. Again, these two have been used the same number of times and there is a huge difference between these two. I haven't looked at the pictures before I started filming. Maybe I should start doing that. But I feel like I've expanded a couple of the pans. I feel like I've expanded the one in Sweet Filling. I might have expanded this one a bit. This shade Chocolicious is so beautiful. And as you can tell, I've gotten a ton of use out of this. I think partially it's because the formula is a little bit softer and it has a ton of kick up, but it is this beautiful rusty orangey color. I love it. Anytime I wear a neutral look, I'm sure to add that color in. I have not been reaching for white chocolate and sweet tooth. I know why I'm not reaching for sweet tooth. I'm not a big fan of yellow golds. I don't think they look very nice on me. I do have a more golden undertone and so I think it kind of clashes a little bit with my skin tone, but white chocolate is beautiful. Let me swatch that one for you so you can see how gorgeous this is. I am not quite sure why I'm not reaching for that shade. I think it can go with pink looks. You can see the gold in there so I can wear it with neutrals. I think I just need to remember to reach for the shade white chocolate anytime I do red or pink looks because it does have a very soft pink shift to it. I think they would work beautiful together. I'm gonna have to try that over this next month. Just like we did for the other palette, let's go ahead and take a look at the weights. Over this past month, I have used up a half a gram of eyeshadow. I'm looking over the numbers and I only have two months where I did better than that. So even though I don't have a ton of uses in each one of those eyeshadows over the past month, I do have a lot of weight change. If I take the half a gram and I add it in with all the other weight loss I've had since I rolled this palette into the project, I have used up 3.63 grams worth of eyeshadows. Each of the eyeshadows around the outside of this palette are 0.9 grams, so I've used up the equivalent of four pans worth of eyeshadow in this palette. Not that it looks like it, but according to the weights, that's how much I have used this palette. Just like the Glam Donut palette, I have started to expose the second ring right here in the inside shade of 
this highlighter. I'm hoping you can see that right there. It is not as prominent as the other one, but I am working on that shade a lot. I typically use that shade as an inner corner highlight or brow bone highlight, but it has a lot more pigment to it than I thought it would just looking at it in the pan. As far as goals go, I want to try to reach for the shade White Chocolate five times. Encourage myself to reach for that, try some different color combinations and see if I can't find something that I love that will encourage me to use that shade more. Other than that, I'm just going to keep working on this palette. I might be able to have side pan in the shade Marble right here. We'll have to see. Anytime I do a neutral look, I try to put that towards the outer portion of my eyelid to really darken it up. I'm really enjoying working on both of these palettes. They look so well loved, so well used, and I think the color stories in them are beautiful. I love how much variety I have between these two palettes, so I'm really enjoying the freedom that they give me. That is everything that I have for you. Like I said before, be sure to stay to the end so that you can watch the slideshow of these two palettes change from month to month. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.